There's Scott. So, good body position in the water. Uh, you're streamlined. Your hips and legs are not low. Uh, your head's good position. You're comfortable breathing. Uh, good extension. <clears throat> Reach forward is fine. I mean, overall, very, very comfortable style of swimming. So the, the main thing, if you recall from the, the clinic, is that you're, and we'll see it when you're doing the underwater, but your pull is a little more of a straight arm pull, and then you tend to kind of pull under your body in like an S motion. So if you can transition more to the high elbow catch and a bit less pull under your, under your body. So like if you're looking at that left arm, see how it kind of curves in under. So you're, you're probably giving up a little bit of uh, power or a little bit of leverage when, when you do that. Whereas the, if you get that early vertical forearm slash high elbow catch, more of your strength is going to be going into pushing you forward. And this one is more power stroke style. The kick looks good. I mean, it's a relaxed kick. It's a good distance style kick. A little bit of a two or four beat kick. And then here, just looking at Looking at the streamline, very good. See so your your legs are right in line with your torso. Uh, good rotation. Good rotation on both sides, and you're not bouncing up and down in the water at all. So that's all good. So pretty much for you, you know everything is good. You just can uh, use a, a bit of technique improvement with the uh, the catch style. Your left arm maybe going slightly more in front of your head than you need to you want to keep that arm sort of directly in front of the shoulder like your right is doing okay so there's uh, freeze frames after this portion but you can see what's going on with your arm so you start out you know pulling down slash back without much of a uh, angle change from the elbow forward like so looking at your forearm and hand, uh, it's at the same angle as your as your upper arm at the beginning of the stroke, and then both arms curve under or do like that S S style pull. So I would do a lot of one arm drill, really trying to uh, get the high elbow catch. You know the catches starts with a shoulder roll so your shoulder shrugs up or rolls inward and that helps to kind of externally rotate your arm it helps with the angle of the catch um, doggy paddle if you recall doggy paddle drill that would be a good one as well that's just working on that first third first half of the the stroke and you're just working on the technique there and here you can just get that front view of what's going on with the the kind of line you're pulling. So it's a it's a it's a large kind of S that you're doing. It's not terrible. I, I think it could just be better. So your the direction you'd want to pull back would be more of a kind of straight line back on the side of your body. So your left arm would be a little bit off to the left, right arm a little off to the right. So really good reach, good extension, rotation, all that, no problems. And then looking at the angle of your forearm and upper arm. So it's more or less one line. So I, I call that a straight arm pull. A little bit of catch angle going on here. And then you sort of catch in and under your body. Right? So not it's not bad. Uh, I think it could just be a bit better. So right there, if your hand and forearm were straight up and down as opposed to uh, directed to the right. And then good finish to the stroke. So you're pushing all the way through there. So looking at your right arm now. Again, good extension, rotation, all that, no problems. And then just you know look at the angle of your upper arm and, and forearm and that's 
more or less a straight line again. So the issue with this, this kind of straight line pull is that the first third of the stroke you don't get the maximum kind of surface area that you could. This is good right here, so you're starting to get the high elbow catch and then you pull under your body. So you're switching from using your back and lats to more of a, a bicep chest press through there. So I think it's a question of using your, your back and lats for the entirety of the stroke as opposed to a portion of the stroke on that arm. I hope all that helps and uh, I'll see you at the swims.